What's up, wonderful people? I'm G Storm, and I'm on an eight day Western Caribbean cruise on Royal Caribbean All of the Seas, and I'm bringing you guys along for the fun. Here we go, guys, let's get started. It's the day after my birthday, and I decided to celebrate it in a big way. I have boarded a 6400 passenger floater island that reinvented Roy Caribbean's definition of a mega ship. She once held the title for the world's largest and most expensive cruise ship, and now I will call her home for the next eight days. It's cruise day, and I'm taking you on board the oasis of the sea. As you guys know, the first thing I'm going to do when I get on a cruise ship is eat. After a long day of traveling, I always like to hit up the cruise line buffets. I decided to hit up the Windjammer as it is free and has a variety of food. This cruise, I told myself I wouldn't pick out, but I still did. But anyways, that's enough about how I ate enough food to feed the entire city. With that being said, let's move on to today's activity. Oh, wait, one more thing. Before we get started on today's activity, if you could like, share, and subscribe, and leave a happy birthday comment, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, guys, so we just got done eating in the Windjammer. And what I'm about to do now is go out to the back deck and look at the Flow Rider and the Ultimate Abyss and just see what's going on out there. Now, getting a little bit accustomed to the cruise ship because this is the first time I've ever been on a cruise ship this large. And it's easily to get lost on. All right, guys, so we just got done eating. And what I'm doing now is pretty much walking around the ship until it's time to go to the stateroom. Anyways, this is the Ultimate Abyss slide right here. That's pretty cool. And they got two flow riders on this ship. Uh, this is one of the flow riders right here. And uh, last time I didn't get a blue ribbon, but this time I will definitely get a blue ribbon. Possibly, maybe, we'll see. Much harder than what it looks. But anyways, let's, let's keep moving. All right guys, so we just checked out the flow rider. And um, let's be checked out. We got the flow rider and ultimate abyss. And then we're walking through, I think it's the Central Park. I'm not really sure, but it's really, really nice. Got a lot of people in here. And we're about to get ready to go to the muster section. I will let you guys know how easy this muster section check-in is. But so far, this cruise has been really amazing and everything looks really beautiful. And they got a lot of Christmas stuff and everything looks really, really fancy on here. If you guys ever get a chance to go on the Oasis of the Seas, day one, I recommend day one on Aces of the Sea so far. Uh, we'll see how the other days look. But yeah, so far I recommend this. And also, it's just, it's so much stuff on here. It just looks sort of kind of overwhelming with how much stuff they have on here. And you guys will get to see it all right here on my YouTube channel. All right guys, so the mustard check-in was as simple as them scanning your bag. No, it's not scanning your bag, scanning your badge that's on your phone and then they showed you guys how to well show me how to put on a life jacket and that's pretty much it they all took maybe like three minutes and now what i'm about to do is go sit in the casino because i am tired and hot i'm just walking around i'm gonna wait for the room to get ready all right guys so right after this i dropped off my stuff in the room and then i went back up to the top deck to start getting on some of the attractions on the cruise ship I'm about to get ready to go on the zip line. Let's see how this goes. This my guy RJ right here. Hey, <laughs> hello. Welcome to Oasis. Right here is me on the zip line. I can say it was pretty awesome, but also pretty scary. All right, guys. So we just got off the zip line and now we're about to hit the ultimate abyss up. And my goal today is to pretty much do as much as I can before everybody gets on the ship and it becomes overcrowded. I don't think it'll get overcrowded, but right now, like the flow riders are pretty much empty. Uh, I did zip line in like one second, and now I'm about to get in line for the ultimate abyss. All right, guys, we're about to get on the ultimate abyss. Three, two, one, go! Let's say, let's say, this goes pretty fast. We're gonna see if it goes. I might just like. Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Woo! Here we go! Woo! Oh, I'm almost falling out. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this thing is going pretty bad. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just left the ultimate abyss, and next I'm going to do rock climbing. 
All right, guys, here I am waiting in line for my turn to go up the rock climbing wall. After my last cruise, I thought I was a pro at rock climbing, so I decided to do the second hardest part of the wall and quickly found out that I was not as skillful as I thought I was. The length of this clip is about how long my rock climbing career lasted on a cruise ship. I made an executive decision to not try rock climbing again on this cruise because I hadn't trained enough to conquer this wall. However, I will try again next cruise, enjoy the last three seconds of me attempting to rock climb, and then we're off to get ice cream for my hard work on the wall today. Alright guys, so I just got finished rock climbing. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually go get some ice cream. I know I was talking about that earlier. I didn't get it. That's the most important thing on a cruise to find is some ice cream. I finally got my ice cream and now I am ready to go to the sailway party. Alright guys, so I just got done with the Sailaway party and once again I'm saying goodbye to Miami and hello to Paradise. I cannot wait to show you guys what all I have in store. All right, guys, so now that we're finished with the celebrate party, I'm going to flash back to earlier in the day, and I'm going to show you my room, then we're going to go eat dinner. All right, guys, so I just got to the room, and I'm going to show you guys the bathroom. Let's see. Put on the flight switch. Huh? There we go. This is the bathroom, guys. It's actually pretty spacious. It's like one of the bigger bathrooms that I have been in on a cruise ship. And so far, it's pretty good. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, it's pretty spacious right there. About six foot. Got plenty of space in here. Nice clean top right here. And bed. It's not much, guys. Not much. Mirror. The sofa. Bed right here, and we wind up in the ocean view. Um, I tried to do the Royal Upgrade, but I don't think my bed was high enough. Anyways, I'm happy with this. It's pretty cool. Get to be close to the water and see the ocean. Wake up to a nice, beautiful ocean right now. We're in Miami. That's a beautiful city of Miami. You see over there in the background. Anyways, guys, this is my little boat. And so far, everything looks pretty good. This is a closet. You know, closet space. And I have an iron board in here. Got yeah, a safe. I have anything that's really valuable to put in here. And I'm about to set up my editing station here in a second. But yeah, this is my room. Right after this, I ate dinner and went to the Aqua Show. Alright guys, so as you see, um, they canceled the show. What it, it was not canceled, it just moved to another day. I'm not really sure why. Maybe because of the weather, but uh, yeah, so got just got finished eating dinner. We walked all the way over here, and we saw the cancel the show. So what we're gonna do is go to a comedy show instead, and then from there, we're gonna go to the stage. So I don't like to record the comedy shows, so what I'm gonna do is in this video right here. If you guys can leave a happy birthday comment, go ahead and leave it for me. Uh, also, like, share, and subscribe, and G-Storm out.